Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today let's see how we can make use of lots and serial numbers in order to track products in order 15 point of sale. So here first we have to open sales module and go to configuration settings to activate lots of serial numbers. So this is required in order to uh, get full traceability from vendors to customers. So it's already enabled. And now we open point of sale and here we can find all the products available in point of sale. So let me open the product deck chair and here we can find the details like uh, the sales price, cost, customer tax and the product type. And here when you come under sales tab, you can see here it's already available in point of sale. So when you're creating a new product and if you want to make that product available in point of sale, you have to enable this checkbox. And here you can see this deck chair is available in point of sale under the category chair. So here we can also find the other categories available in point of sale. Then in order to make this product uh, traceable in Udo, here, come under inventory and set tracking either by unique serial number or by lots. So here for this, I have set uh, tracking by lots. And if you want to set expiration dates, like uh, expiration date, time, best before time, removal time, allow time, then you have to enable, activate this feature from configuration settings of sale. That is expiration dates. Now, let's come back to point of sale dashboard and here we can find uh, we have a shop. So let's open a session. We, are, we already have opened a session. So here you can find the category chairs and under this category, you can see the product available. Uh, that is deck chair. You can view the total price is 900. And here we can click on this info button where you can find the product information shown, including financial details, inventory details. So already we have a 10 units available, then order details. So currently you can, you can find this order detail. Mm, if you add it to order line, you'll be able to find the order detail. So this product information is a new feature added in order 15 point of sale. And we have done a video on that. You can check that video. So, now a customer came and ordered this product picture. So here we can see uh, a pop-up shown where you have to provide lot number or serial number. So as we're tracking this product using lot number, you have to provide a lot here. Then after that, you can click on OK. So for one unit of jet deck chair, I have set a lot, lot 5677. And now, here it's possible to change the quantity. So here if I change it to four, you can see for four quantity of this texture, same lot number is given. So lots are basically given to products we receive in great quantity. And it can be useful for batch production of uh, clothes, furnitures, food. So for a group of units, group of products, we can give the same lot number. And if you want to give uh, like add product to the order line with a different lot number, then you have to again click on this product and provide the different lot number. So then when you click on OK, you can see for one quantity of deck chair, different lot number is given. And here we can change the quantity. Now, here we can click on info, here we can find uh, the product details, order details, you can see this added. Now we can make the payment, choose a payment method and then validate the payment. We can find the receipt where we can find uh, the products. So here you can see four units of lecture with lot number, lot 5677 
and two units of vector with lot number lot three four four five. Now, again we can place a new order. Now, if we close this interface by keeping the session open. Now, when you check the orders here, you can see the order details. So, you can find order details in the back end. The products ordered, total amount, and this one is paid. So, that's how we track products using lot number. Now, here let me open a product. I have a product fridge. For this product, I have set a sales price and cost. So, this one is a storable product. And now, here under inventory, uh, let me set the tracking by unique serial number. So, serial numbers are basically given to those items that could require after sale services like smartphones, laptops, electronic devices, uh, including fridges. So, here yeah, I am tracking using unique serial number. So, for each quantity, each unit, we have to set a unique serial number in order to track the product. And if you want to add expiration date, you can add it from here. Now, under sales, you can see it's already available in point of sale. Now, let me continue selling in that session. And here, let's come back to home and you can find the miscellaneous category. There, we can find a product fridge. So, here we can find the product information, can find the price. Now, if a customer came, and order this product, you can see you have to provide a serial number here. Again, if you click on this fridge, you can see for the second quantity, we have to give a different serial number. So you can see for each unit, a unique serial number is given. And now if you try to change the quantity, like if you change it to six, you can see red color is shown because we haven't given a uh, serial number for the remaining four quantities. So as we are tracking using unique serial number, we have to provide serial number for other ones. So here you can see the space to provide serial number. Now I can make the payment. You can see that serial numbers, those serial numbers are shown here, the total amount. Now we can place the order. Now if you go to back end, you can see here. The details of the product. So you can see six quantities of fridge, each having unique serial number. So that's how we track uh, product using unique serial number. And now when you check the inventory, product moves, you cannot see uh, any movement added in this report. That is inventory is not affected. So quantities in stock, uh, that is product quantities in stock are updated depending upon the inventory uh, sitting for your point of sale. Here you can see an option uh, which is used to decide when the quantities need to be updated in stock. So it can be done at session closing or in real time. So for uh, our point of sale, I have set it as at the session closing. So only after closing uh, my session, the quantities will be updated in the stock. So we will uh, discuss about that in a different video.
so that's all for this video and thanks for watching